Hi everyone, this is Brenda from Mainly Hybrid Homesteading. Today we're going to be making ghee. Ghee is a healthy fat and it is shelf stable, but it also has health benefits. It decreases inflammation in your body and helps to heal your gut especially if you are lactose intolerant uh, in the process of making ghee we're getting rid of all the lactose and uh, the milk solids out of there ghee it also has a high smoke point and up to 485 degrees and some people will use it to uh, also for their skin to treat burns and just to, and as emollient to moisturize your skin and it also has healthy omega-3 fats. So I'm going to be doing three pounds of butter today. It's going to give me six half pints of ghee. No, I'm not using these big quart jars. That's for <laughs> these are ready to go for to store some dry goods after I'm done making the ghee. Staying busy in the kitchen all the time. <laughs> So right now I have my jar, my clean jars are in the oven and the oven is on at 200 degrees to keep them warm. And so when I do put the hot ghee in there, it's not going to give them a thermal shock and uh, break the jars. And also it's going to uh, keep the jars warm, of course, but uh, so they will seal naturally after the ghee cools off so let me show you what we've done so far oh yes I have my Christmas apron on it's the only apron I have <laughs> I need to make a regular one but you might have a little bit of splattering of the butter as it's releasing the water and the milk solids so I want to protect my clothing so I have started melting the butter on low. I have three pounds in here. I'm gonna, we're gonna turn it back on to medium. I like to just put it uh, just below medium. I just like to be cautious. So we're gonna let that finish melting and we'll bring it back when it's um, doing some more bubbling. I do have a skimmer here that I just got this at Walmart to skim off some of the foam a little bit later on. This is the ghee that I made a couple months ago. This will last for months on the shelf. And here I have a couple different kinds of cheesecloth that I bought. I'm using a combination of these today. I got this one from Amazon. It was $5.99. And this one I just got at Walmart in the um, produce area for $2.97. So there's a big difference between these two. This is the one I got from Walmart. You can see it's um, very see-through, so to speak. And the one I got from Walmart, it is made uh, to strain liquids, but it's almost like a muslin cloth. I have a couple layers of it here. So I'm going to put the Walmart one on top to strain the bigger particles and then the, uh, the one down below will strain the smaller particles. And I have this over my metal funnel. I prefer to use uh, metal, especially when I'm dealing with hot liquids. I don't want any plastic melting or any plastic particles uh, melting as I'm... Uh, jarring up the ghee. So our butter is all melted now and you see there's a layer of foam at the top so we're not going to be stirring our ghee at this point. We're just going to let it bubble as the water evaporates and eventually the milk solids will fall to the bottom. So now you kind of see the foam separating. We're not going to be skimming any foam yet until the butter becomes clear. Right now it still has that um, milky appearance. 
So we're just going to watch it and let it continue boiling at this point. And now you can see that it, things are getting a little bit clearer, but there's still some cloudiness there. So we're going to keep boiling. So you can see now we're getting pretty close. So I'm going to start getting rid of some of that foam. If you don't get it all, it's okay. The cheesecloth will get some. See how nice and clear that's getting? So this is when you have to watch it closely because you don't want it to burn, but I'm just going to check to see, see how the solids are sticking to the bottom there. So we're just about done. And actually, I think we are just about done. Okay, so now we're going to get our jars out of the oven and get it jarred up. So I also had my lids and the, um, the bands warming up in the oven as well. So I'm just going to put my strainer here with the cheesecloth. You just have to be very careful. This is extremely hot. Try to get it close to the rim. Looks beautiful. <laughs> nice and clear. Okay, that one is still straining. When I first did this the first time I had used coffee filters and it was such a tedious process. I went through so many filters. But I didn't have any cheesecloth at the time and I wanted to get it done. A little bit more. So this is working much better. Or even if you had like a brand new cotton t-shirt, you could uh, cut pieces of that and use that as well. Okay. So you are going to wipe the rim of the jar with a paper towel. Get any ghee that might have spilled. Very hot. So I'm going to put my lid on and my band. Okay, I'll tighten those up in a minute. This is going much faster. <laughs> World of difference. It was just like drop, drop, drop. 
now it's like pouring in there. So whatever makes your your work easier, right? Maybe just a tiny bit more. Okay, I'm going to wipe that rim. I'm so glad I learned how to make my own ghee. As you know, it's so expensive to buy it in the store. And um, I know I'll have shelf stable, a shelf stable fat that I can use even on my paleo diet um, that's less inflammatory. And uh, I'm not gonna use it every day, but a lot of people, you know, it, it really adds a nice flavor to your cooking. And using the coffee filters, I found that I lost a lot of butter, I think, because I was, you know, going through so many filters and uh, they were absorbing the butter that could have gone in a jar. And because it was going so slow, the the ghee was cooling off and it was just compounding the problem. Slowing down a little bit, but it's still pouring. This took about 15 minutes or so. Really doesn't take that much time. Isn't that beautiful, guys? So happy. So I got five and a half jars. So I guess if you wanted like six full jars, you'd probably have to add one more stick of butter because you do lose some in the cheesecloth. But I am so thrilled. I'm gonna be putting these on the shelf these will seal up on their own as they cool off. And this is the solids that the cheesecloth filtered out. And this is what the bottom of the pan looks like, but none of this is gonna, gonna go to waste. Some people like to put it on their toast. Uh, they, it's good for the animals, for their skin, their coat as well. So I mix a little bit in with their food and it's a nice treat for them. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. This was definitely easier to make the second time around. <laughs> you always learn from your mistakes, right? <laughs> One of our subscribers had asked me to do a video to show how to make ghee and here it is. <laughs> So let me know if you have any questions, if you have, had any, have any comments. Please share and like this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. We'll see you the next time. Stay busy!